Welcome to another minute where proof is possible. I'm Corbett Lunsford. Today we're going to talk about the dark side of energy efficiency programs. Now these programs have done a lot of great things. They started in the 70s, so almost 40 years now. We've been helping people uh, to incentivize them to add insulation to their attics and to air seal their homes and uh, upgrade their furnaces and their air conditioners and things like that. That's fantastic. All good. Uh, however, now, 40 years later, we still have homeowners guessing at home improvements. And the problem is that uh, you will have a problem in your home and you won't solve it by doing the sensical thing, which I'm going to describe in a minute. What you'll do is still, nowadays, put on your blinders and call a roofer if you have some kind of a roof problem. You'll call an insulator if you think you need insulation. You'll call a window person or an air conditioning technician. And of course, just like the doctor, you wouldn't walk into a doctor's office and say, I have a stomach ache. I would like you to take my appendix out, please. First, you want the guy to take your uh, blood pressure. You want uh, the woman to take your uh, weight and ask you some questions because, of course, you shouldn't be able to self-prescribe. Your house is exactly like your body. It's complicated. So the thing is that the home is a system. Now, this is something that the weatherization people, and these programs are generally called weatherization programs, they understand this very, very well. However, homeowners do not understand this, and even though we've had 40 years of weatherization professionals working in people's homes, they still don't understand that that weatherization professional that they had in their home can actually solve lots of other problems with their diagnostic testing and the whole home analysis that they are able to do, which if you haven't had the right training, there is no way that you're going to be able to think that way. So the problem is that the energy efficiency programs only advertise that they can solve your energy efficiency problems. And if you do not care about your energy bill, then you will still call one of those professionals who's going to put on blinders and not treat the home as a system. You can call a home performance professional to solve problems in your attic. Like, for example, if you have mold or spots showing up in your attic, which can be caused by adding more insulation then you want to call a home performance professional because they can help you analyze the whole home and figure out what the solution, the actual problem, and the actual solution is to that problem. If you have problems in your mechanical room and you have burn marks on anything or your mechanical equipment is not working the way that it's supposed to, it might not be the fault of that piece of equipment, just like it might not be your appendix's fault that you have a stomach ache. Maybe you ate too much last night. Uh, I'm not trying to blame anybody. If you have mystery rooms, in your house, which I guarantee that you do. Uh, most of my clients have some kind of a room that they had no idea existed in their house. The home performance professional can help you to find this room and figure out what needs to be done with it, if anything. So remember that energy efficiency is not the goal of home performance. It is a byproduct. It's a side effect that you can quantify. That's why it's attractive to the utility companies and to the municipalities because they can say, I reduced the usage by this many kilowatt hours or this many therms, uh, and that's really cool. You can't say, I made people 50% more comfortable. That's not a quantification that doesn't really work. So the main product of home performance is happy people, well-controlled homes, homes that are comfortable and durable and that don't have weird problems that you have to throw money at guessing what the problem is. So remember, it's your home, it's your money, and it's your family, so stop guessing because proof is possible. Happy testing.